For the first time uh, that there are guidelines for MPNs, you know, which we hope really will have an impact on quality, you know, as well as trying to make care more uh, homogenous across the United States. Uh, we begin really with uh, guidelines regarding the diagnosis and prognosis of essential thrombocythemia, polycythemia vera, and myelofibrosis. And then really went into the treatment guidelines for myelofibrosis for this first iteration. We plan then in the beginning of 2017 to have the treatment guidelines for PVER and ET. Fundamental to the guidelines are one, really trying to describe with primarily one FDA approved therapy of ruxolitinib, really what is the role of ruxolitinib for patients with myelofibrosis. Both the on-label indications in intermediate two and high risk, which are fairly clear and now in a, a mature set of data with now five years of approval with ruxolitinib, but also what are the situations in which we consider it for individuals with low and intermediate one risk. We also try to flesh out where transplantation is to be considered, as well as the things that impact around the decision of transplantation, both risk, quality of the, uh, of the candidate for the transplant in terms of their health, as well as where the new molecular mutations fit into play. Finally, we really highlight the importance in many steps of consideration of clinical trials, but discuss a variety of off-label therapies as well, where we consider interferons, where we consider other therapies that can be supportive of, in particular, anemia.